Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, before I get started, whoops, just let me situate myself here. Okay, um, if you're new and you enjoy what you see, please consider subscribing. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. Um, if you're new, welcome as well. <laughs> um, as always, thumbs up is appreciated. Um, if I forget to tell you, there were tons and tons of things that I saw that were so nice. I took pictures of them. I did not purchase them, but um, I would if I could, but I just don't have the room for everything. Anyway, stay tuned for the pictures at the end. There are so many different things that I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing. Okay, let's get into this haul, shall we? Um, <clears throat> first thing, I purchased a couple of birthday cards. One is for my niece. The thinking of you on your birthday she has a birthday coming up I think February 8th if I'm not mistaken anyway these are pretty they're heart line Hallmark heart lines I got her that and then excuse me and then my nephew has a birthday in April they didn't have much of a choice for the nephew so it just says birthday wishes nephew happy birthday and then I thought this envelope was a good color to match. Okay, there's that. And then I found this, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting hoarse again. Um, let me grab my water. Hang on just a second. Sorry, I might have to go grab a cough drop too, but we'll see. Okay. Um, I found there were uh, two, I saw two black ones and a white one. Two black ones had different sayings on them. You'll see all three of them in pictures at the end. This one just says, be happy. I know I had, they had these last year. I didn't buy them, but this year I did. Last year I had an orchid that I wanted to uh, replant or repot. I could not find a small little white um, pot anywhere, like the, the, wood, the glass ones or the ceramic. None, nowhere. So I have this just because, in case I needed to repot it again. There's that. Um, I found this Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Nasal Inhaler. This is a repeat purchase for me. This is like the, the Vicks inhaler, except um, this one is natural, natural mint oil. It works really, really well. Looking at the expiration 162025, <clears throat> I have one on. Um, you know, after a while, the the intensity just decreases and it doesn't work as well. But um, I was looking at the VIX ones at Walmart. I think there were two for fourteen dollars or something like that. I was like, no, you can keep that. So I'm so thrilled to find this because they didn't have they don't have them all the time. So yeah, wonderful. Okay, and then staying on that same kind of theme, I'm trying to find things that go together. Okay. Uh, Band-Aids. You guys will never guess what happened to me this weekend. It, I'm just, I don't know. I stepped on metal. So let me just tell you the first thing that happened. Um, I was making some chicken and dumplings and the pot boiled over and um, I just left it for like a second with the lid like half you know, a jar so it wouldn't boil over. I left it for a second, came back and the whole thing boiled over. Now I have a, a electric, so it was all over the stove. Every, it went onto the floor. I cannot stand my, my range. We got that last year, I cannot stand. That thing's a piece of tin, it, it's awful. Anyway, it was all over the floor. It went inside the glass of the oven door. So my husband had to take the oven door apart and take, you know, like, so it clean in there. Anyway, the handle fell off. It's a piece of tin. I mean, that thing was expensive and you would think it cost like $5. Anyway, the handle was on the floor and it's very sharp. So I went to help him and I stepped on it, the ball of my foot. Oh my goodness. It was a huge cut. He's telling me, you have to go get stitches. I'm like, no, 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 no. So anyway, make a long story short, and I've already bored you. Um, we had these fabric band-aids. They were, they're, they stick really well um they work really well well actually this is the one we had um we also had he had to get butterfly band-aids because the cut was deep anyway i'm having a little trouble with my walking but it's getting better um 
he used this also and these stick so well and it's because they're fabric i never never gave it much thought but the fabric ones work much better than the plastic ones so we had some of these because i just hauled them not too long ago um so he put like a like the the butterfly bandages but then he put this like on the bottom whatever anyway he said get more of these because they're good and they are there's only 26 in a pack but I would buy these again they work so much better and they stay you know they stick well uh, and they're three quarters of an inch by three inches okay so I got those and I was happy to get these because they don't always have the fabric they usually have the plastic but not the fabric and this is care pack I don't know if this is a Dollar Tree brand. Uh, no, made in the Philippines, distributed by... Yeah, it's not a care, a, a care pack. It's not a Greenbrier. So then I saw other people hauling these same... Well, it's not the same... Oh, it's not the same brand. These are like skin tone bandages. You'll see them at the end. I took pictures. They have darker ones. And then medium and then I think this is the lightest one they had these are also uh, fabric so I want to see how these work and there's 30 in here so that's even better than this hoping they will work but these have oh I'm just looking at them they have different sizes so they have 5 1 inch by 3 10 3 quarter by 3 and 15 5 8 by 2 and a quarter so these have this is all one size and these are different this one here is different sizes so yeah, I'll tell you, it's been, <laughs> it's been a heck of a year so far. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, last week I hauled the uh, one number one birthday candle, the white one, because I couldn't find the silver or the gold one. Oh, this week I found the gold one, so I'll just save the other one for whatever. So there's that. This thing is, uh, how big is this? A one piece? It doesn't say. It's, uh, it's about three inches without the little thing where you're sticking the cake okay and then let's see oh i needed some more baking cups so i bought these uh they are by cooking concepts a hundred of them and they just have the teal and the orange color now if you buy these be careful because they have this pack of a hundred and then they have the same you know same brand with 50 in them the one with 50 has the the paper has designs on it. I'm like, I don't need designs. I've been making some uh, blueberry lemon muffins and they're so good. I've made them like four times already. My husband loves them. So I'm going through these qu quickly. So anyway, I got those. Uh, let's see. I got two of these. I like, I'm not a fan of any of the Bolero products other than the facial wipes. Those I use. So I had hauled some a while back, but I got two more packs because there's 32 in each pack. So I got a lavender and honey just to stock up because they don't have them all the time. And there's 32. And then I got this pineapple orange. So two of those. And um, I got some more of these, uh, what do you call these, tumbling tower blocks? Yeah, they're like Jenga blocks. There are... 72 in here. I use these for crafting. I needed, I think I need three boxes. I only have two. I wanted to make that um, manger or stable for Christmas. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I haven't had my coffee yet and I'm having like a withdrawal headache on top of this uh, congestion thing. Anyway, um, I got a couple, let's see. I got one of these because, you know, getting old isn't fun. So this is called the Garden Kneeling Pad. Um, just the other day, my husband was over there putting some grout on the tile. And he's like, oh, my knees. So I thought, I'm going to get one of these. Because if we have to, like, bend down or kneel down or whatever, you know, the knees aren't what they used to be. So, I mean, this is for outside gardening, but I'm going to use it inside, too. I'm going to keep it nice and clean. I'm not taking it outside. I think we have one outside that's old and dirty, so this will be for the inside. Um, yeah. This is not... Let's see how big it is. It is 12... It's about 6... Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. 15 inches by... 
seven. So it's a good size and it's, you know, it's about half an inch thick, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, so you can kneel on it without hurting your knee bones. And then, let's see what else. I wanted to show you this. So stay tuned, like I said, at the end of the video, there are different styles of these. I got this one because that's my thing. That's just my saying, everybody knows. Uh, it's a tabletop light and it's color changing and it comes with the batteries and it says, I am very busy. And I've seen other people hauling these. There are, uh, there's a globe one, there's a dinosaur one, uh, I think a stars and moon one. Um, but I got this one. So it cycles through seven colors and includes uh, one color changing LED light, requires two LR44 batteries which are included and there's an on and off switch. So let's open this up, shall we? I don't have a very big haul today. I spent at least an hour in one of my Dollar Trees. I just, it was, I just, I don't know. They had so many things. I wanted to buy them all, but I didn't, but I took a lot of pictures. Anyway, this is cute. It says, I am very busy. So let me measure this for you real quick. From top to bottom, it is about three and a half inches. And the stand, the base is about three and three quarters of an inch. And then it does have the battery. And I'm going to pull the little tab off and on and off switch. Okay, we're, I'm seeing it, but I don't know if I have the, uh, I want to break, I want to break a nail. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to put on the big gun, the glasses. Okay, where's the on and off? On and off. Okay, it's right here. Oh, it's not that hard. You... Why isn't it working? Should I get a dud? You guys, I got a dud. I'm mad. I got a dud, I turned it on. Maybe the battery's dead and I can, I can uh, change it. Maybe I just have to whack it. I see something happening in there. No? Oh yeah, there it goes. Can you see the green? Around the edges and the blue. It's hard to see. like around here, it's turning green. Right, if I go like this, we'll see it blue. The light is down here somewhere. Yeah, and then purple. It'd be better if I didn't have a light on. I mean, if it wasn't daytime. But yeah, okay, it works. You can see it the best around on this. That's pretty neat. Alrighty, let's turn that off. I'm just a kid at heart. You guys know that. I like the fun stuff. You know, you only live once. There's plenty of time to be serious in life. Have a little fun. That's what I say. Okay, a uh, little crafting, a few crafting things. Now, I guess I have a thing for easels too because I don't know how many I have. I just like this one because it was, I didn't know this was an easel. Like I've seen this just in the box, but I saw someone else hauling it. I forgot who it was. I think it was Jennifer Moen. Um, oh, she showed it in her walkthrough. See, so it is an easel, but you never know it. You just think it's like a piece of wood. So that's cool. I like that. And it has a little um, shelf, not shelf, little thing that sticks out so you can put your whatever it is on there. I like it because it has that. That's pretty. And it's not very big. I think it's like, what, five by seven or something? Let's see. That is actually, no, it's bigger than that. It's a seven and three quarters by four and a half. So that's cute. I have the other wooden one, wooden easel too. And then I have the plastic ones. You never know when you're going to need it. That happens to me all the time. I I need it and then I can't find it anymore. 
I did not need this sign for anything. Again, at the end of the video, there's pictures. There was this one and another one with flowers. It was so pretty, but I just thought this was so pretty and kind of rustic looking. I'm loving it. Let's measure it first. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's 12. It's about 14 inches across, and then from top to bottom is seven and a half. Isn't that pretty? It just says decor on the back. Sorry if I haven't been showing you that. I'm just kind of not feeling too well today. And I have no idea where I'm going to put it. But I thought that was so pretty. Really nice. Oh, which reminds me, I have a DIY to show you guys. But let me just um, get to the rest of this haul. So I, my husband loves, I don't know if you guys have tried them, Hostess Cherry Pies hostess they have to be hostess so and we can't find them anywhere they have other brands but not these so I found them at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 that's a lot of money I think for one hostess pie but he's worth it and I got him two just because I didn't want to get a uh, him but <laughs> I didn't want to get him a bunch because I couldn't find the expiration on here I'm like so right now I'm going to look for it. Huh. Oh, 3 ooh, 3923. That doesn't give us very much time. It's right on the front here too. Yeah, 3923. Okay, I'm only I'm glad I only got two. Well, he could eat the, he'll eat these in one sitting, but um, I also have a taste test, but so before I get to that, I'm going to stand up. Excuse me, I'm going to show you my DIY. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the noise. I already hung it up. I forgot uh, to show you when I hung it up. Okay. Let me grab it right here. It's hanging up over here by my, sh uh, my ladder. So this is that heart, the heart beads that the Dollar Tree has. Um, what I did was I just decided to add a little greenery, which I did. This greenery is from Walmart, the green stuff. The flowers are from Dollar Tree. I don't know when I got them. They have like a little satin around them. I don't know if you can see that. And then the ribbon is also from Dollar Tree. How I hauled this a couple of weeks ago. So what I did is I started off with the beads just in the wood color. I thought, okay, this is going to look really nice. So I put the greenery on there and I'm thinking, I decided I was going to put this to hold it up, this ribbon. So it didn't look too good, too good in the uh, natural color. So I just painted it kind of just dry brushed. And then I added a little more paint because it wasn't to my liking um, after I had the greenery on there. So yeah, um, I didn't want to get it all over the, the back, but I think I did pretty good. And I did not use any hot glue. I used zip ties, all zip ties. I zip tied everything. I should have cut it a little better, but it's hanging against the wall. Nobody's going to see it. So I zip tied the greenery together, and then I zip tied the bunch of flowers together, and then I zip tied that onto here, and the, the greenery zip tied onto here, and even the um, the ribbon, I just tied it onto the back here. I could have made it more presentable, but it's like I said, it's hanging against the wall, so right now, I was just in a hurry to make it so I could show you guys. But yeah, and I just tied it one, I didn't have to like double tie it or anything. So... Um, yeah, so I have it hanging right above my ladder here. I would show you, but I don't want to mess up. I don't want to make you like dizzy with the, moving the camera around. So I thought it came out pretty good. Now you could always put different kind of flowers. I wanted to put lilac flowers, but uh, right here we don't have any. We have purple. I could have put purple, but I just thought this would be neutral. So yeah, and you could even put baby's breath. I have some from Joann's, but they're like, they fall apart. They're not very good. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you've tried any of these things, let me know how you liked them. And now I'm going to do a taste test. But before I do that, excuse me again, I'm going to hang up my heart back on the... And what I did was I just used one of those push pins from the Dollar Tree to hang it up because I wasn't sure I wanted to keep it there. And I just painted it they're black. It's a push pin that has a little a little hook so you can hang things on it. Painted it white so it looks like it's part of the thing. Anyway, taste test. 
So I've had Cheez-Its before. I love Cheez-Its, I gotta say. I've never had the hot and spicy. I know these have been around forever, but I've never tried the hot and spicy. So that's what I'm gonna try today. This is a three ounce bag of Cheez-Its hot and spicy. So, expiration is, who knows? Let me put the glasses on again if I could find them. Here we go. Expiration. Is there an expiration? Best by date? I don't see one. Okay, well, taste test at your own risk. Yeah, there's something over here. 0831 something, but that's not a, that doesn't make any sense. And there's the calorie count. 430 calories for a pouch? Are you kidding me? I could have a nice low-cal meal for that. Chicken, breast, and some veggies. <laughs> okay, uh, 26 crackers is the serving size. There are three servings in here. Okay, let's try it, shall we? If you've tried these before, let me know in the comment section down below how you like them. I'm sure I'll like them. I like spicy and I like cheeses, but I just wanted to try them anyway. Ooh, smells good, just like Cheez-Its, but it smells tangy. You get a good amount in here, too. I mean, usually like three servings. I could eat the whole bag. It's not three servings, but this is a good amount. Okay. It smells tangy. Oh, yeah. That's good. Um, I don't... I don't taste a lot of hot. I taste like tangy. And taste, I taste some kind of spice, but mostly tangy. Kind of a um, vinegary, tangy. I'm looking for my paper towel. These are good. I would give these an eight. <clears throat> Almost went down the wrong way there. Okay, yeah, I'm liking these. If you like Cheez-Its and you can eat spicy, you don't mind the spicy. I don't think it's that hot. It has spice but not that hot. It's more tangy, I think. For me, I don't know. You might be different. Anyway, that's the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Um, stay tuned for the pictures. There are all lots of them. I had, I got some pictures in the, in the baby aisle, uh, toy aisle, crafting, um, I think in the toiletries all over the store. I spent quite a, I spent almost an hour in just one store. It's a big store, but it's kind of messy. Oh, they had these light up letters, like um, those signs that people have. They um, were in blue and red, I think. Um, I didn't buy any, but I took pictures of them. I took a couple of pictures. I think I'm just going to include the one that's not. One store had them just thrown everywhere. You can hardly tell what they were. Then when I went to the other store, they were kind of neatly packaged uh, with these there so um yeah stay tuned for the pictures thank you so much for watching i hope you all are doing well don't forget thumbs up if you enjoyed the video comment subscribe and then um yeah till next week hopefully i'll have another dollar tree haul for you um i have don't know anything about my schedule yet i don't know when it's going to change i'm waiting for um information so as soon as I know, I'll let you know. But so far, I'll see you guys next Thursday again. Until then, be well and be blessed.